How great is God, exalted in power, majestic above all. The heavens tell of his greatness. The skies display his awesome craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make him known. In creating the heavens, God also created the earth and formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. The God of love created man and woman in his own image to have a relationship with him. And so in the beginning they revered and honored God and lived in harmony with him. This continued until one day Satan tempted the woman to eat the forbidden fruit and she gave it to the man who also ate. In so doing, mankind rebelled against God and went their own way. As a result of this sin, mankind was separated from God and was thrown out of the Garden of Eden. But God still loved mankind. It was never his desire to be separate from those he created. Yet how could God be holy and the source of perfect justice if he did not judge mankind for their sin? In his holy book, God reveals his plan to save the world from his judgment. One of the first to see this plan unfold was Abraham. Abraham was a righteous man whom God promised to bless and make his descendants as numerous as the sand of the sea and the stars of the sky. To test his obedience, God told Abraham to sacrifice his son as an offering to him. Abraham trusted God and sought to obey him. As he raised his knife to kill his son, the angel of the Lord stopped him. He saw that Abraham feared God and was willing to obey him. Then Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket, and he sacrificed the ram instead of his son as an offering to God. And so God showed Abraham that a lamb or similar animal was to be slain as a temporary covering for sin until God would provide his ultimate sacrifice to pay for the sins of mankind. Instead of sin separating man from God, the sacrifice would restore their relationship. The Holy Scriptures speak of one who was to come and be the ultimate sacrifice for the sins of the world 
As the ram took the place of Abraham's son, so this one who would come would take man's place so he could be forgiven. Some refer to this person as the Messiah, the one who would come and reconcile the world back to God once and for all.